What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how easy it actually is to color grade your Sony A6500 footage. So this footage that I have on screen, I've recorded it in 120 FPS. Let's take out the data over here. And I, I made it into slow motion, so I recorded in 1080p, 120 FPS, and I just dragged it out to 30% uh, of its speed. Also, this footage is shot in S-Log3, so for your comparison, that's how I'm going to be telling you guys. I'm actually going to be grading the S-Log3 footage myself, and this is pretty much what we're going to be doing. We're going to do some basic color corrections, all right? Let's go to Lumetri Scopes, and what we're going to do is we're going to try to get it around uh, just so it hits... 10 on the bottom and 90 on the top just with some basic color correction so I'll bring up the exposure just a little down we'll bring up the contrast we'll bring down the highlights maybe a little bit up actually it's a little dark in the highlights and we'll bring down the shadows and we're gonna try to get as close as we can to the 10 um, so also the whites, we're going to bring those up. The whites are important in here. And then the blacks, bring those down. And maybe we can bring down the shadows just a little bit more. Maybe the exposure just a little bit more down. And that looks good here. The white balance, we can just find somewhere white and it will just go off. It was a, kind of, it was a sunny day, so it was kind of warm. So we'll go more on the white on the temperature. There we go. We're not going to do any LUTs over here. We can, but we're not going to. Just bring up the saturation just a little bit over here. And let's go to the creative side now. Now we can add a LUT, uh, but I'm actually not going to add any LUTs here. Uh, I feel like uh, that's just um, a little thing that you can do once you actually do more clips but I'm just showing you guys exactly how if you don't have any LUTs so I don't expect you guys to have any LUTs right now so we're just gonna sharpen up the image add the vibrance I sometimes like to do this just move it side to side to see how it changes um, I'm gonna bring down the saturation we're gonna add some shift to the shadows and some cool into the highlights. We're gonna go more towards the shadows. Is this the shadows? No, that's the cooler side. Warmer side would be here. So we're just gonna do like something like 22. And then we're gonna go to curves. And we can actually put the HDR range. That's not gonna really do much for us. Just leave it where it should be. And we'll just do some basic curves, the S curve, uh, curve, maybe less on the blacks, kind of don't want it to be too dramatic, but you still want it to be somewhat dramatic, and um, color, sat, uh, hue saturation curve, we'll also go more onto the warmer colors, bring in more of those, bring in the greens, and then kind of bring out in the cools maybe some green down somewhere in the yellow somewhere like that all right color wheels uh, we could add a little more here so add more of that warmth just a little bit in the shadows bring that down mid-tones bluer much up a little bit maybe make it a little brighter it's getting close to the zero don't really want it to get that close to the zero and then the highlights just bring those down up uh, maybe somewhere like this is good
All right, so now what we see here is if we go to our effects controls and our lumetry color right here, we're gonna shut off the effect now. So this is the S log, and this is just quick correction. This is obviously not something ideal, uh, but it's there and you can see it. Uh, it was pretty simple to do. Obviously, I'd want to play around with these, get the trees to kind of pop out more, uh, tone down the saturation a little bit, take out some of that yellow maybe. Uh, but overall, it's pretty easy to uh, do this S-Log 3 footage. It's very good quality footage uh, with the Sony A6500. Very proud of what it produces, and I think you can get a really far way with this kind of footage because it is so easy to actually grade. So now let's go to the exporting phase. This little 12 second kind of clip here. Exactly, let's find out. Uh, it's nine seconds here. We're gonna export this, see how actually long it takes, and I'm actually gonna cut it here so you guys, um, you know, don't get glitched out and so it actually gets uh, actual speed, not a speed that's affected by the screen recorder. So these are my export settings. I'm going to use my YouTube preset 1920 by 1080 60 FPS. And then we are going to go down the target uh, bit rate is going to be 13. The maximum bit rate is going to be 16. And that's pretty much it. There isn't much else. It's just a very simple YouTube export. So we're just going to export it here inside of Premiere. Overall, this footage is really easy to grade, and I do recommend you guys shooting an S-Log 3 if you are going to be grading your footage. It makes it so much easier, and in my opinion, the footage looks much nicer after it's been graded in S-Log 3 rather than another color profile.